Let me show you how I do these drops around ductwork. This is kind of a zero clearance type situation where I need uh, as much headroom as I can uh, using just half inch plywood and two by twos. The walls down here are pretty short to begin with uh, in this bathroom and then the ductwork hanging down. Um, like I said, I need to squeeze as much headroom as I can out of here. So sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. I'm going to come down to this bottom edge and then straight across to the doorway. And then I have... I still have some nailers to put in uh, around the perimeter and spots. Uh, this half of the bathroom ceiling actually is going to get furred down. Uh, so the drywall will clear these uh, water lines. And then, like I said, the drop around the other half of the bathroom will come down to that bottom edge and then straight across uh, to the other side of the bathroom. You don't want your framing or your drywall to actually touch the ductwork. You need a little bit of clearance there so you don't get squeaks and pops and that kind of stuff when it expands and contracts. Uh, this beam down the middle of the house actually works out nice. Uh, it's real close to where I need to be, so that's what I'm using for the bottom edge of my drop. So uh, rather than framing up and over and down and over and making it all choppy just to try to get some headroom, it's better to make nice straight lines everywhere so it doesn't look as choppy. Uh, I start with a two by two on the ceiling, uh, about a quarter inch away from the widest point, um, and make a straight line across the bottom of your floor joists. I did have to break it there where that, where that pipe is, but uh, you get the idea. Um, and then you nail the two by two to the bottom of your floor joists, or, or screws, whatever, uh, whatever you got. But just make sure you got straight lines. Uh, I measured off the back wall of the shower to get my straight line here to keep this square on this side. And then I ripped my OSB to the to proper uh, width there. And then I'm going to staple a 2 by 2 to the bottom edge of that, keeping it nice and flush. I'm just trying to give you, give you an idea here. Um, nice and flush with the bottom of that. Uh, plywood or OSB. I got a pneumatic stapler, inch and a half, half inch crown uh, framing stapler. You can use drywall screws or nails. Uh, as long as it's on there, good. You can see, uh, keep it nice and flush. And then all you got to do is take these panels. Uh, I can grab this with one hand and, and shoot it with the other hand. Um, I had to notch around that pipe, but um, just push them up tight to the uh, bottom of the floor joists uh, and that automatically makes everything nice and straight and then just nail it off um, you know or screw it off or nail it off whatever you're doing but um, and that's all there is to that aside from the uh, corners you know you got to square those up um, and there I made it about a quarter of an inch below the duct work to leave a little bit of room um, you could see here, well, this, I'm going to split this in half. It's about 30-some inches there. I'm going to put another one in the middle uh, to catch the drywall. Otherwise, it's going to sag. So I'm just going to make another panel and, and stick in across the middle. Just make sure if you have dampers or anything like that, that they're set in the right place. Because if you're covering this stuff up, you're not going to be able to get to it. So um, there I got my middle panel in, my end panel uh, and then I'm going to catch that other uh, edge with my drywall. And it's just, you know, I'm squeaking as much headroom as I can out of here without actually touching the duct work. So um, still have some blocking to put in after, after I did these. A uh, little block on each side, each corner to catch the drywall. And it's also going to be able to uh, let me square up the bottom of that, the bottom edge of those, those panels. And then this side... I think that 2 by 4 is close enough, but like I said, you just uh, square up these panels, you know, straight up and down, and get a nail or a screw in there just to kind of hold it where it, where it needs to be. Um, so after I got my nailers in and the uh, floor joists furred down for my drywall, if you're doing anything like this, just make sure you get nail plates uh, around anything, water lines or, or uh, wires or anything like that. And that's about it for that. So if you need low clearance uh, drops here, I hope that helps.